Can I be hypnotized? That's the number one question on a lot of people's minds when it comes time to searching for a hypnotherapist, especially if it's the first time. Now, once upon a time, uh, they used to assume that certain people could be hypnotized and other people could not. And they'd established this by getting a bunch of people and doing what's called an induction. And certain people would go into what's called a trance or trance-like state, and other people wouldn't be so responsive. And so they just assumed that certain people kind of had the personality for it and other people didn't. We're a lot wiser these days, and what we've come to understand is that, yes, certain people can do hypnosis really quick, straight away, no problem at all. But for other people, it just takes more practice. With the right guidance and enough practice, what we now understand is that anybody can learn to do hypnosis. The other really important point to understand about hypnosis is that all hypnosis is essentially self-hypnosis. So in that sense, nobody can hypnotize you. Instead, what they can do is to guide your mind in a way that teaches you how to do the process for yourself. So think of it this way. Learning to do hypnosis is a lot like learning to drive. The hypnotherapist is essentially the one guiding you, they're the navigator, but at the end of the day, you're the one in control. You're the one in the driver's seat of your own mind. Likewise, you want to make sure you get the right driving instructor who, who is clear, who makes it easy to understand, and fundamentally makes you feel like they're on your side. Well, doing hypnosis is all about learning how to understand how to consciously respond to yourself once you realize that your attention has wandered off onto other thoughts, which is inevitable. So usually the process will start by directing your attention away from what's going on around you and instead becoming more internally focused. So directing your awareness to something like your breathing or sensations in your body to get your mind more focused inward. From there, it's inevitable that certain thoughts are going to keep popping into your mind every few seconds. That's just a normal thing that your mind will get distracted and wander off onto other thoughts. It's all about those key moments once you realize that your mind has wandered off onto another thought. If in those moments you, you kind of beat yourself up for it and think, oh, damn it, I keep getting distracted, my mind keeps wandering, or I'm swallowing, or I'm, I'm getting uncomfortable, this is not working. If you, if you think those thoughts in response, then that's going to take longer and make it more challenging for you. The trick is that in those moments, every time you realize your mind has wandered off onto another thought, is to simply tell yourself, it's okay, just let that thought go. That's a normal process. If I'm swallowing or itching or getting uncomfortable, that's all okay. Just let those sensations be there. Let the thought go and just bring your mind back to your breathing or, or back to whatever the internal focus is. And every time you do that, just keep responding in that way over and over and over again. And so every time you do that, every time you just let the thought go and just bring your mind back every few seconds that's a normal it's a normal process for your mind to just keep getting distracted and wander okay but every time you do every time you just bring it back to your breathing or bring it back to your internal focus every time eventually what happens is in that moment each time your brain activity gets a little bit slower your mind starts to slow down and every time you do that eventually over sometimes it might take a few minutes or sometimes it might take even half an hour especially if you're prone to racing thoughts and anxiety but the key point is, however long it takes you, eventually with practice you become better at doing this and it becomes easier and easier each time. And eventually, what will happen is your mind will start to become more focused, more aware, more slow, more calm, more peaceful, more relaxed. And it brings you into a state which we call hypnosis or some people will refer to it as being in a trance or a trance-like state. Basically, it's just a profound state of relaxation where your mind becomes more clear, more focused, more aware, and all the usual racing thoughts that would ordinarily keep you distracted in an ordinary waking state suddenly starts to slow down. In that state of mind, you are completely aware of everything that's going on around you. There's a common misconception that when you're in a trance, you're totally oblivious or you're totally under a spell or under somebody else's control, and it's not like that at all. Quite the opposite, if anything, you are more aware. Because in an ordinary waking state, your mind is usually racing and easily distracted by all these thoughts, but in a trance-like state, in that deep state of relaxation, you become totally clear, totally calm, and totally aware of everything that's going on around you and inside of you at the same time. Another common misconception about being in that trance-like state is that 
once you're in that profound state of relaxation, you're, you're kind of stuck there until the therapist kind of gives you permission to come out of it. And that's not true either. When you're in that state of hypnosis, you could come out of that state anytime you choose. It's just that being in that deep state of relaxation feels so comforting and so peaceful. You simply choose to stay there. In fact, once the therapist starts telling you to open your eyes and start to wake up, the first thing you're going to think is, oh, come on, I wish I could just stay here for a little while longer. So you're completely aware of what's going on the whole time. You could choose to come out of it any time you please, but after your mind sort of goes through the hurdles of slowly going deeper and deeper into that state, it just feels so good and so comfortable and so relaxing that most people prefer to stay there as long as they can. So any misconceptions about it being a scary or unpleasant or terrifying experience or something where you're, you're out of control or you don't know what's going on, none of those things are true. In fact, quite the reverse is true. Now the whole purpose of doing hypnosis and going into that deeper state of relaxation and getting the mind so clear and focused is because in that profound state of relaxation, the mind becomes much better able to have what we call aha moments or moments of realization and epiphany, where basically certain things that may have been in front of you the whole time, all of a sudden become clear. I don't know if you've ever had an experience where you've been thinking about something really intensely, you've been trying to figure something out and, and you just can't seem to get the answer. And then you forget about it altogether, you stop thinking about it, maybe you go and have a bath or have a shower, you just relax and let it go out of your mind. And then suddenly this brilliant idea just sort of suddenly pops into your mind and it all becomes crystal clear. Well, going into that profound state of relaxation where your mind becomes more clear gives you the opportunity to be able to get clarity on certain things that your mind might not have otherwise been able to see. And when you have enough of those aha moments of epiphany and realization, they're the moments which when you put them all together, they're the moments that start to change your way of thinking, change your perspective, change your awareness, and eventually go on to change your life. You don't have to do hypnosis in order to have those epiphany moments of realization. You could, you could suddenly wake up from a dream one day and go, oh, I suddenly realized this thing that I never realized. Or you could be in a really deep conversation with someone and, and, and suddenly start to become aware or suddenly have this epiphany and realize something that you hadn't previously realized. You can have those moments just doing ordinary talk therapy. But when you're in that profound state of relaxation doing hypnosis, it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for your mind to gain the clarity and the focus that it needs to gain those moments a lot simpler and a lot easier. So as you're probably starting to become aware of now, doing clinical hypnosis is nothing like stage or performance hypnosis. That's not really hypnosis at all. And in my online video session, I give a more thorough, detailed explanation as to how stage and performance hypnosis works. But basically, hypnotherapy is simply the addition of clinical hypnosis, usually on the end of a, an ordinary talk-based therapy session. So that ordinary talk-based therapy might be something like solution-focused therapy or cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, depending on who you see. And usually what will happen is during the talk therapy, the purpose is to identify the specific problems that the client is, is sort of stuck on. And then there'll be the addition of the clinical hypnosis at the end of the therapy with the intention to, to gain that clarity to identify the solutions to the problems identified earlier in the session. So if that's all starting to make a bit more sense now and you're curious to find out what it's like to experience clinical hypnosis, then I've actually provided for you a free interactive online video session right here on this website. Now, if you decide you wanna go ahead and do the free online video session here on this website, that's gonna do two things for you. The first thing is it's gonna make you better positioned to decide if you wanna go ahead and make a booking. You can either come along here to our head office at Bella Vista or you can do Skype sessions from the comfort of your home or office or wherever in the world that's gonna work best for you. The second is it's going to give you the explanation to make it all click together so that way if you decide that you do wanna go ahead and make a booking, we can basically hit the ground running. The first session with any therapist, especially hypnotherapist, is a lot about what we call psychoeducation. So basically an explanation about how it's all going to work, which can be pretty expensive, especially if you don't even end up continuing with that therapist. So you might as well get the explanation out of the way and get it for free by doing the online interactive video session right here on this website. So if that all sounds good to you, it's starting to make more sense and it's kind of stimulated your desire or curiosity to want to find out how it's all going to work for you. Well, just go ahead and click the button beneath this video that says get started 
allocate at least a couple of hours, put some time aside free of distractions, ideally last thing at night before you go to bed, and then just sit back, get comfortable, relax, and enjoy the ride. I'll talk to you soon.